This video is not about how I made this bench, but how I finished this bench using a total boat marine spar varnish in gloss. I applied total of four coats and in this video I am going to show you how I applied it, what materials I used to apply this and also going to show you all these four coats, the front side, uh, applying the finish on the front side and applying the finish on the back side along with applying the finish on the leg. I've been using this finish for a while and it gave me really good results for the outdoor projects. And when I was starting to use this product, I could not find many videos where they showed how you can apply the finish on the front side and then turn it and how you can apply it on the back side. So in this video, I'm going to show you all those details. I'm going to start with the top side of the bench first and the leg. And after some time, I'll come back and I'll flip the bench and apply on the back side. And I'm going to use these bench cookies for support when I'm applying the top coat. Stir the finish. I normally use, I don't use uh, directly the can to apply the finish. I pour whatever I need on a small plastic glass. Normally when you use this, you have like a lot of finish left in this uh, holes so I take a small shop towel and clean it immediately that way there will not be any residue going forward whenever I apply this total boat marine spa varnish I use a foam brush this will make life a lot easier I'll apply using the grain direction. The grain is flowing this way. So I'll dip the foam brush in the finish and just follow the grain. The wait time between uh, each coat depends on uh, the temperature. All the information is uh, given by total board. Some parts of the wood might take more finish than the other parts. So I just brush it on them once more. And if uh, they are taking more finish, I'll not do anything. I'll, uh, when I apply the second coat, then I'll uh, rebrush them. And when you're applying the finish, make sure there's proper ventilation. Whenever I apply in the garage, I'll make sure the garage door is open that way there's a lot of air flowing. Whenever you see any excess like this, just use the foam brush and spread it out. And I'll do the same for the leg. The grain is flowing this way, so I'll brush it that way. This is a small piece, so I'm going to apply on the other side too. After every coat, what I normally do is I put all this stuff in water because this can be easily flammable. This side is drying good. So I'm going to flip this and I'll apply the finish on the back side now. This is still the first coat.
I'm going to let it dry for an hour or maybe two hours, then come back and do the second coat on the bench and on the leg. I'm ready to apply the second coat after two hours. This time what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply on the back side first, then flip it and apply on the top. That way I can finish both sides at the same time. And now I am applying the second coat on the leg. The bench and the leg are ready for the third coat. I did apply only two coats because uh, total board recommends do not exceed more than three coats per day. And my plan for today is apply the rest of the two or three coats, wait for 48 hours, come back and then use a 320 grit sandpaper and remove any high spots. That way I can get a smooth finish. For the third coat, I'll do the same what I did for the second coat. I'll flip this one and apply in the back first then flip it back and apply on the top. That way I can uh, finish both the sides at one time. It's been a couple of hours since the third coat. I'll be applying the fourth coat now.
it's been 48 hours since I applied the fourth coat. I did not apply the fifth coat because this looked good to me and I can refinish it in a year or a couple of years depending on like how this gets used in the outdoor. And this is not perfectly smooth to the touch because there are many high spots and some brush marks over here. Uh, I don't know if you can see from there but I'll uh, uh, show you up close what I'm talking about. These are some of the brush marks and there are some high spots over here and there are some high spots over here and some other brush marks. So what Total Board does recommend is use a 320 grit sandpaper and sand it to remove any of the high spots and any of the imperfections that you have it after the finish. I'm going to use this wooden block and this 320 grit sandpaper to just sand it lightly to remove the high spots and any of the brush marks. When you are using a block like this, make sure the block is completely flat. And also have a blue shop towel or any of the racks next to you because when you are sanding there will be a lot of dust and it's so easy to wipe the dust off as soon as you sand one area of the wood. And when you are sanding just follow the grain. And when you touch it, it should be smooth to the touch. Whenever you're sanding after 48 hours or after your fourth coat and the easiest way to tell the finish is not dry yet when you get a lot of patches. You can see there are no patches here so the finish is completely dried. So there, there might be some areas where there's uh, the sanding dust might be there. What I'll do is I'll take the same shop towel and spray a little bit of water. Yeah, I don't apply too much water and wet it, but just like sprinkle the water on the shop towel and then wipe it off. This is very smooth to the touch now. And even now, if you see any of the high spots, just only sand that area and wipe it out with a blue shop towel. I see a lot of high spots here and here. I think maybe when I was doing the brushing, there might have been a lot of finish left here. I see really high spots over here. I'll try to sand it as much as I can and then wipe it out. But this is the back side, so I'm not that much worried. The leg is power carved, so I cannot use a flat uh, wooden block, so I'll be using my hand to sand it. That's it. This is how I apply the Total Board Marine Spar Varnish for any of my outdoor projects. So if you like this video, please do like, comment and share the video. And also if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Your comments and subscription help me to do more projects. And if you have any comments about this project or any a different method on how you apply this particular finish, please do let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.